Hi, my name is Jonathan Smith. I'm going to show you how to set up SegWin on a Windows 7 computer with Git. Uh, I like to use uh, SegWin client for Git on Windows. I think it's one of the best ones out there, and for the price, it's great and free. Um, one of the things I really don't like developing on Windows, but a lot of organizations do use Windows still, so I'm going to show you the process. First you go to their website. Now you're going to click on install. I'm using the 32-bit system so I'm going to download the 32-bit client, I save, and I'm going to save it to my desktop just to make it good. Now that I have it saved to my desktop, I'm going to close the browser so we have more room. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to say yes, run it. I give it permission and I'm going to say yes, install from internet, install there, join to Smith desktop, and I go through, and I always like to do HTTP over FTP, so I'm going to change there, and it's going to get the most updated packages. Now, to install Git, I like to search for the word Git up here, then I just like to pick it from the development right here. Now, Git also needs SSH, so what I'm going to do is SSH, and again, I'm going to install it from here. So basically, I only have to pick the SSH package and the Git package. Now I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to say Next again. And right now, it will start downloading everything that SigWin needs from the Internet. If you don't know what SigWin does, it actually makes a terminal window that looks just like a Linux window on your Windows. It's really useful and it's free. But I still also like working in VMs if I have to with, with Linux like CentOS or something like that. But a lot of organizations want you to develop on Windows still. So I'm going through this process just to show you. As you can watch, it's downloading all the utilities needed. This will take a few minutes, so we'll just watch it download. And there it goes, actually. It's installing Git 1.7.9. It's not a bad version. And then it's installing all the other lovely tools that you have on Linux and Unix. And it's still downloading them all from the Internet. After it downloads them from the internet, it will have to install it. So that process will take a little bit of time too, but let's just watch it go. Seems like we're doing pretty good speed here anyway. And again, as I said, if, if I'm developing, I like to do it on Linux or on a Mac, but a lot of organizations do still use Windows, so I'm showing this process. So you have a, a Git client and a nice... Uh, a volume to work in. Okay, and it looks like it's about 50% done of the downloads. As you can see, it's still going. It's downloading Perl, downloading OpenSSH, downloading all the utilities. And my internet connection is not that bad here. So, you know, we have pretty good speed. Looks like all the downloads are just about ready. Let's see. Uh, Pearl Error, Pearl, Pearl Vendor. And let's see.
B base. Ron Seed. As you can see, Ta. Anything you would find on Linux, you're going to now have on your Windows. It's pretty good and pretty useful. And it looks like the downloading is done. It's doing the checksum on them. Now it's doing an install of all the packages. You can actually see what package it's installing, why it's installing. They're going pretty quick. There's all your man pages, there's Pearl. And it's almost done. Let's see. Okay, now it's running a whole bunch of packages and it's going to make all the profile files and all your default settings. Okay, and I'm going to create a a icon on my desktop for this. So now I now have Sigwin on my Windows box, but I'm not quite done yet. Okay, as you could see, gave me some messages that I made all these profile files, and that's great. But now what I want to do is type in git slash slash version just to make sure I do have git. Okay, I do have git install. So the first thing let's do is let's configure git. The first thing you gotta do is configure your global email address. So what I do is type in git configure slash slash global. Oh global. It helps if I could spell user dot name. And I'm gonna put my name. Next, I'm going to do my email address. And my email address. Oh. I'm going to do my email address now. So now I have Git all set up. But we still got to make our SSH keys. So the way to generate your SSH key is pretty easy. Type in SS key gen gen and I do a and now what I do is I do a dash T R S H. So I know the type of key. And I hit all the defaults. Now I have my SSH key there and I also have my git totally set up. That's basically all you have to do to to have git all set up with Segwin on the Windows 7. Just to confirm, I'm going to go cd cd and you can see there's my there's my public key that I would give to my admin. If you have any more questions about this, please let me know. But that's all you basically have to do is to get a good Git client running on Windows 7 with Sigwin. Thank you.